Hi everybody, welcome to the seven minute core series. We're gonna start with seven exercises, that's it, one time through, and everything is for 45 seconds. We are on. Whew. Keep it going, we're almost there. Finish it off. So let's get set up here. I want you in a low plank position and we're just gonna hold that low plank. So set up and we are on. Tuck the hips forward and hold. Really make sure you're tucking the pelvis forward, really squeezing the abs so there's no slack in your lower back. I don't wanna see any arch in that lower back. Push away from the ground with your forearms. Engage your shoulders. Good, keep holding here. Set your breath, nice deep breaths in and out. A lot of times with core exercises, we stop breathing. So make sure you're breathing for every exercise. Okay, good, the next one, I want you in a high plank position. We're gonna drive the right knee to the chest, hold it here. Now watch me here as I tap my knee and I pull up high, as high as I can toward my chest and then tap again. We're gonna keep going in that position. Let's go all on the left leg. I'll tell you when to switch to the right side. This one you should start feeling pretty well right away. 10 more seconds here. Okay, right leg in, tap and pull. Very nice. Lie on your back for this next one. I want the hands to the ears, the knees are bent. We're gonna start with a crunch, elbows to knees, and extend one leg to hover as your, as your upper body falls toward the ground. So hold here, crunch and extend. Crunch, extend, good. Watch your back doesn't arch up off the ground when you extend. Try to push your back into the ground the whole time. Okay, this time legs up and we're gonna reach right hand to left shoelace left hand to right shoelace. So we're going side to side, nice quick pulses. Take a breather here. And let's go, reach, alternating sides. Next one, I want you to slip your hands right under that lower back. We're gonna drive the heels up to the ceiling. Good, lower with control. And then both legs are dropping toward the floor. If you have problems with your lower back, let's drop one leg at a time. So we're going up and drop. Whew, should feel that core. If you need to modify, single leg is just fine for this one, especially at this point of this core workout. Let's go two exercises after this. 
Keep working. Okay, staying on your back. Second last one, cross your legs, hands behind the ears. I want your eyes straight up at the ceiling above you so you're not pulling at your neck. We're going straight into crunches. Woo, should start really feeling that, let's go. Let your abs and ribs expand every time you come down and really contract them as you pull up. Second last one here. Try to push through. All right, knees to the chest. Quick hug. We're finishing off with bicycles, but we're gonna go nice and slow. So it's extending opposite leg and then switch. So my left elbow is coming to my right knee and I'm switching. You guys are on. This is the last one here. Let's do it. Nice and slow. Try not to rush it. I want you to feel that rotation. Ooh, let it burn. If you need a break, really quick hug. Take a breath and finish it off. We only have, ooh, 20 seconds. Let's go. Almost there. Everything you've got here to finish it off. Nice, quick burn. And hug the knees to the chest. Very well done. So there's a really nice, quick core workout that you can throw in after maybe legs or arms, anything that you do on my site. So really try to throw that in. You'll really work not only the upper abs, but also the lower abs and the obliques. Great job today, we'll see you again soon.